guys, welcome back to the Style and Beauty Doctor here on YouTube. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about makeup friendly SPF. So we're gonna be talking about one, how to reapply your sunscreen when you're wearing makeup, two, some sunscreens, straight up sunscreens and moisturizers with SPF that play nicely with makeup, that's number two. And number three, we're gonna be talking about body sunscreens that give you like that makeup-like look. Because sometimes if your face is beat, you want to continue the beatation down to the body. So we'll be talking about that and a little bit more in this video, so keep watching. Sunscreen is a topic that I have been talking about for years, but I'm glad that now people are listening to me. <laughs> There's been an uptick in, you know, people wanting the information on sunscreens for darker skin. Um, so make sure you check out the description box because I have tons of blog posts where I've tried probably hundreds of sunscreens over the years. Make sure you check that out. And then also on this channel, I've got lots of sunscreen videos. I've tried some mineral sunscreens for dark skin. There are probably maybe three or four videos on that where I tried a bunch of different uh, mineral sunscreens. And if you're like, what the heck is a mineral sunscreen? Go check out that video. Um, and then we've also have videos where I've tried oxybenzone free sunscreens and just all of the sunscreen stuff. So make sure you check out those videos as well as this one. Um, now the topic of reapplying your sunscreen when you're wearing makeup has come up a lot um, recently. And of course, this is a topic that I've talked about before, but I figure, you know, we're, we're in the spirit of sunscreen. It's of course, well worth repeating again. So you got a couple of options. Now I will give you my favorite option first, and then we'll talk about some others. for years now, not the same, you know, exact product, but you know, of course I've bought new ones and, you know, replaced and whatnot. But for years I have loved to use the Peter Thomas Roth um, Instant Mineral Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Sunscreen. This is a translucent powder that allows you to not only touch up your makeup, um, but it, you also, you know, reapplying your sunscreen. So what I do with this is, you know, I'm of course don't make this my only sunscreen product that's on my face because I don't want to just rely on this. This is just like my reapplication kind of step. I still make sure that my I'm wearing my sunscreen, whether it's in my moisturizer or whether it's like a separate sunscreen. Um, some of my foundations do contain sunscreen in them. Now, you can't layer your sunscreens to get a higher SPF, but it's good to layer because, you know, a lot of us, we're not putting on enough and, you know, you might miss a spot with one. So, you know, having the sunscreen protection factor the sun protection factor in a number of your products does kind of help to keep you covered, but you want to make sure that at least one of those is at least an SPF 30, because again, you can't, you can't put a eight and a 15 and another eight and think like, oh, I'm covered. Nah, it don't work that way. So make sure at least one is an SPF 30. But why I like this is because it's very easy. It has the least disruption of my makeup as possible. Um, the only thing with this that I find a little bit annoying is, you know, it's got the instructions on how to like pull it down so that you can put it back in the, you know, the applicator, but it is, that part of it is a little bit annoying. I'm not going to lie, but it's still my favorite. So you tap down and you can apply it to the face like so. And it, it you know, it kind of picks up any shine and then you're also reapplying your sunscreen. But as you can see, this why I would not just rely on this and why you wanna make sure that there's other sunscreen products in your routine is that I'm not putting that much of this on, like I'm getting it to go all over my face, but you know, not much of the, it's not a huge amount of the product that's being put on. So just keep that in mind, why this wouldn't be my only form of sun protection on my face. So this this one that I have here in the yellow container, this is for, you know, oily, combo to oily skin. They have one that comes in a blue um, packaging that's for more normal to dry skin. So this has been for years one of my favorites, but I'll show you some others that, you know, they're not my fave to use to reapply, 
um, with makeup, but they're options, okay? Now, Derma E has a product that is very similar to the Peter Thomas Roth. Um, it's a mineral um, sunscreen that's a powder that you apply with a brush. Now, this one is a little bit less expensive. The packaging does get on my nerves a little bit. Um, <laughs> the brush seems very flimsy. But essentially, you know, you are getting the same kind of, you know. See you know what I mean? Like the apple, the brush is just like so flimsy. And I feel like, <laughs> you know, the product is not as, it's not as elegant <laughs> as the Peter Thomas Roth, you know? Like now I've got this big thing that I'm gonna have to, you know, go into the bathroom <laughs> and fix so that I can continue the video without this big thing of powder on my face. But you know, I was kind of going a little hard um, with it. But if you wanted a mineral powder similar to the Peter Thomas Roth, but you, you can't stomach the Peter Thomas Roth price tag, you know, this one isn't as bad. Just be more cognizant of how you apply it. And you know, I guess maybe don't be as rough as me <laughs> when you put in the powder on, cause you know, that's what that's what's gonna happen. Um, so that's another option. Um, I kind of want to go dust this off of my face, but I also kind of want to finish my thought. So I'm just going to finish my thought. Um, other options include like these facial sprays. Now here's the thing. Now I have three of them here that I want to talk about. One of them is mineral and the other two are chemical. So I'm going to talk about the uh, Super Goop setting mist first. This is the defense refresh. And you definitely want to make sure you shake it up really good before using it. And this and any other spray sunscreen, you wanna make sure that you're applying it in a well-ventilated area and you know, keep your eyes closed, keep your mouth closed because you, you don't want these particles getting into your eyes or your mouth. Um, but And you also wanna be careful about <laughs> when it gets in your nose so you know, Try not to inhale, like maybe hold your breath while you're doing it so that you don't inhale it because I did that just now and like I felt like it go up into my nose. Um, this is nice. I think that out of any of the sprays that I'm gonna show you, this is the one that is probably the least detectable um, on your makeup. And that's because this is more of a mist and this was made to be used as a makeup spray. Now again, you don't want to make sure, you don't want this to be your only form of sunscreen because, you know, I just, like I've said before in the other video about sunscreen sprays, sometimes you're not applying enough, you know, the sunscreen <laughs> spray can be getting over here and over here and it's like how much of it is exactly getting on your face, are you spraying enough? So you don't want this to be your only form of sunscreen, but it is nice to, you know, just kind of quickly spray and you know refresh your makeup and also get that sunscreen reapplication now the other two these are not meant to be used as makeup sprays but um you know i kind of like to you know add other sunscreen options in videos and you know talk about as many different sunscreens as possible because my motto with sunscreen is find one that you love because then you're going to wear it whether that's mineral whether that's chemical whether it comes in you know a, a, a spray form or if it's a lotion there's a sunscreen out there for everyone so i like to talk about as many as possible so you guys have options so I got this Replenix one. This is the Replenix Sheer Physical Sunscreen SPF 50. Um, now the thing with this spray, does it tell you? Yeah. Now a lot of these sprays, these two in particular, you have to spray this in your hand and then apply it to your face. So that alone would make it, you know, a little hard for you to reapply your makeup. This on its own, if you were to spray it in your hand and then apply it onto the skin, this is actually not bad at all. Like this is a great mineral sunscreen. It actually is sheer. It's blending into the skin. This would definitely make my list of a good mineral sunscreen for, you know, deeper skin tones. <laughs> but do not spray this directly to your face. Um, I, I'll, I'll Hopefully it'll show you in my hand because I don't want to do more damage to my makeup because I got to finish out this video. And I don't want to look, you know, even crazier already with this powder. But if you spray it directly to your face, that's gonna happen. You're gonna get these deposits where more, like some parts will accumulate more product and some parts you might get a mist. 
And you're not gonna want that on your makeup or even on your face. So spray it in your hand and then rub it into your face. So this I think is a really nice one for, you know, if you want a mineral sunscreen for your face, um, you can, you know, use something like this. Now the thing with this mineral sunscreen sometimes is that some mineral sunscreens don't play well with makeup. Sometimes you have to kind of adjust the way you're applying your makeup. So when you put your mineral sunscreen on, I would say give it 15 minutes, you know, let it settle. Well, it's not really settling, but you know, just give it 15 minutes, right? Instead of using like maybe a brush that might brush the sunscreen off, you might want to use like a makeup sponge or even your fingers to kind of just dab this, the foundation or whatever makeup you're putting on afterwards because you don't want to undo all the good that you did with putting the sunscreen on by, you know, applying makeup in a way that renders the sunscreen in effect. So another face mist that I like is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Face Mist SPF 55. Um, it says it instantly refreshes and protects get with an invisible finish, oil-free, water-resistant up to 40 minutes. Now, this is not something that was intended to be worn over makeup. Um, you could wear it over makeup, like I tried it with it over makeup. It didn't interfere with my makeup look, didn't make me look oily, um, didn't interfere with my makeup, didn't break me out or anything like that. Um, but it's not intended to be a makeup spray. And you can tell that if you, you know, spray this and then you spray this, like for instance, let's see. Let's see if we can give you a bit of a, you see how that sprays? Whoa, <laughs> I had the nozzle going in the wrong direction. But you saw that, right? So this one is meant to give you like that sheer, sh just like a, like a makeup spray, whereas this one was not intended for that. But what this one is good for is if you have a moisturizer that you really love and you just need like your sun protection, or if you're not really wearing much makeup for the day and you wanna reapply and you want something light, this is great because you spray it in your hand and then you apply it to your face. Um, it feels like nothing on. Now, when you apply it over makeup, because I did, I did try it over my makeup because I knew someone would ask and I was like, you know what, let me try it out. Um, it didn't make my makeup look oily. It, my makeup looked fine by the end of the day. Um, it did leave a little bit of like a sunscreen film, like I could feel it on whereas I couldn't feel this on, but that makes sense because this is a makeup spray and this is not. <laughs> but I still think this is a nice product to reapply during the day. Um, this is going to depend on how much makeup you're wearing and you know your lifestyle, but I love a product like this because like I said, there's a sunscreen out there for everyone and we love options. Another product that I like that you can use to reapply your sunscreen throughout the day are the Cover FX SPF 30 Booster Drops. Now the thing about this that can get a little confusing because they are drops, you think, oh, I can, you know, mix this in with my makeup. And I made that mistake myself because I'm so used to Cover FX drops that you mix into makeup. Like they have the luminous ones, they have the um, pigment ones that you can mix with skincare to make like your own, you know, foundation mix or whatever. So I even made that mistake. You don't want to make the mistake of mixing your sunscreen with another product because it can degrade the sunscreen. And by that, I mean, you know, you might not get the protection that you think you're getting. So, you know, don't mix, you know, you can layer and you want the sunscreen to be layered on top of something, but not mixed in. If that made sense, go ahead, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell and leave a comment below because you like, you know, I'm feeling you, Danielle, I'm feeling you. And I'm not feeling this powder on my forehead. And after I'm done talking about this, I'm going to go and, and touch it up. But what I like about these drops is much like the Neutrogena, the Neutrogena Mist, um, you can use this like if you have a, a moisturizer that you already love and you know you put that on and then you put this on top of it it's really easy to apply you know you just put the drops in the only thing is with something like this is that again it's like kind of like the glow products where i feel like you may not put enough on um but you can also use this to reapply throughout the day if you're looking for like um like a dewy kind of glow now depending on if your skin is oily or not that may not be a look that you're looking for, but you can put this on over your makeup. I'll show you a little bit here. 
And you know, sometimes it can be a little messy um, because you know, that is going to reactivate the makeup that's on underneath. So I think you can kind of see why I just prefer the mineral powder, especially the Peter Thomas Roth one, because it's, it's not as messy as any, well, the Peter Thomas Roth can get messy if you <laughs> don't put the applicator back in properly. You can have powder all over the place. But you know, it's the least messy option out of all of the reapplications that um, I showed you here. But yeah, you have options. You have makeup setting sprays, you have the mineral sunscreen powders, and you have something like the Cover FX Drop. So you do have options when it comes to reapplying your sunscreen when you're wearing makeup. But like I said before, make sure that you're not relying on these as your only method of sunscreen. You know, make sure you're still wearing your sunscreen underneath your makeup. Um, and again, like I said before, you can't layer to add, you know, make a sunscreen more potent. But layering is good because sometimes we miss a spot, sometimes we're not putting enough on, but make sure that, you know, your main SPF is at least an SPF 30 because we're not relying on SPF 8 in a foundation <laughs> to protect us from the sun. All right, next up, we're going to be talking about moisturizers with SPF and straight up SPFs that play very nicely when it comes to beating that face. I'm gonna start out with one of my favorites. This came out, was it last year or was it two years ago? I don't remember, but the Olay Sun Facial Sunscreen plus antioxidants, SPF 35, the Shine Control. Now there is also a makeup primer version. The makeup primer version I think is more for like normal to dry skin or something that I would use like maybe when it's colder out, like in the winter. But the shine control is something that I typically wear, you know, most times of the year. Um, I really like this because one, I can wear whichever moisturizer that I want. Um, and I can wear, if there's days when I wanna wear a more hydrating moisturizer, or if I wanna wear a lighter moisturizer, I can have that, you know, that freedom because, you know, I'm gonna wear this on top as my SPF. This works really well to help control the shine. I wore this in Tulum where it was just like <sighs> hot. I've worn this in Ghana where it was very hot as well. Um, definitely one of my faves and it plays really, really well with makeup. Um, also kind of works really nicely as a primer. Um, another one that I really like, the Glossier Invisible Shield. This is an SPF 35. So this comes out clear and it has sort of like, are there silicone in here? Um, I can't see, but also I think they only have the active ingredients yet. I'd have to look it up. But going by the way it feels, it does feel like there's like some sort of like silicone in there. And for some people, silicone is great. Some people it's like, get that away from me, it's drying me out. But you know, for those who, you know, you like the silicone, it works really nicely as a primer because it kind of smooths over the pores and it makes your makeup look, you know, it just takes your makeup up that next level. So I like that as well. There's also, I tried it a while ago and the review for it is on my blog, which I'll link below in the description box. The Unseen sunscreen from Super Goop is really good as well. I have that you know, again, it's in the description box and my blog post from before. Some more options. Now these are gonna be moisturizers with SPF in them. So, you know, kind of like a one-stop shop. You get it, get in, get out, you're good. Um, the Olay Whips with SPF 25. Now this comes in the Regenerous, which is what I have here. I also like the Luminous Whip and it has also Total Effects Whip. So you pick the one based on your, you know, your current skincare needs. But this is great because it has a little bit of a blurring action in it and it's very very lightweight while still being very moisturizing so you get you, know, you get what you need for your skin but it's not gonna be heavy and impact your makeup application and you got your SPF 25 in there there's a whips SPF 40 that just came out that's also really great it has like it feels it's amazing because you can feel how hydrating it is, but it feels very weightless and it really gives the skin like a nice kind of like foundation with which to put foundation on. Really awesome. So that's, those are some more options. Um, from Murad, I really like the oil 
and Pore Control Mattifier SPF 45. They had a previous version of this that I believe that they um, phased out and upgraded to this formula. This is really great. I love this as my summertime moisturizer, especially the thing is, I say summertime moisturizer, but we know summertime runs a gamut of being anywhere from 65 to 95 degrees sometimes here in New York. So when it's like really hot, I really love this. This um, I've taken this with me to vacation in very hot countries and it's worked out very well. So very much like this. Um, also the Anti-Aging Moisturizer SPF 30 from Murad is something I also like. This is more of like my spring, fall kind of moisturizer. So if you're someone with normal to dry skin, you know, maybe this might be a really great um, summer moisturizer for you. So these are, both of those are moisturizers that are gonna work really well. Give you that hydration you need, give you that sun protection, and then it's not going to be, you know, something that's gonna be very heavy or that's going to interfere with your makeup application. Now there are other sunscreens that I have tried as well. I've, you know, there's so many of them that I've already tried. So if you're looking for more options, especially if you're looking for mineral sunscreen options, make sure you check out the videos that I'll have linked in the cards as well as in the description box plus my blog post because like I said, I've covered lots of sunscreens. So check it out. Now, I wanted to talk about this Color Science um, Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield in Bronze. Um, it's a mineral sunscreen, and a lot of you guys were in the comments on previous videos asking me if I can try this. I looked it up. You guys had a lot of like, you, you, you know, you felt, the, you felt the promise there, like, wow, there's some potential here. That looks like it's gonna be really great. And I think they used uh, a woman with a very deep complexion, you know, to, to, to sell this. And um, <laughs> I, I saw the potential too. I was right there with them. I was like, yes, I know this is gonna work. This is gonna be amazing. I bought it. Now this is not, I can't think of the price right now, but I'll, obviously the prices will be on the screen and in the description box, but this was not cheap. So I got it and I'm like, all right, let me shake well. Let me get it in here. It's, you know, the active ingredient is zinc oxide. Again, this is a mineral sunscreen. And I was just like, yes, it's bronze. They use it on a chocolate system. So, you know, this is the color. <laughs> now, granted, I'm gonna show you this in B-roll because, you know, the it's hard to light me. I'm uh, chocolate and then something that's lighter in color, it's either it's gonna get blown out or it's gonna make my room look dark. You know, it's like, it's a thing, you know? But, child, you know, it blends, I'm not, it blends on my face. I did feel like I had a little bit of a tint. Now, it looks amazing when I put makeup on top of it, when I put my foundation on top of it. It definitely gave me like a, ooh, this is a nice kind of like primer. But I would say that to me, for the price, that it wouldn't be worth it if I can't use it like, it looks nice, but it's not wowing me unless I have makeup on. And if I'm gonna pay so much, I wanna be able to look wow on its own and wow with makeup on, like if we wanna multitask. So I mean, if you, it's not a bad product, it's just that I felt like it's not worth the money for the one function that I would get from it. I just felt like, it, it, I was expecting a lot more like, bronze. <laughs> I, I will give it its flowers for blending in nicely in the skin, but it wasn't like, I don't know. Maybe y'all hyped me up because y'all kept telling me to try it. Maybe it was, maybe this is, you know what? This is y'all's fault. Let me stop, I'm just kidding. I, it's not y'all's fault. But I was expecting a little bit more from this product and you know, it, again, it's not a bad product. It blends into the skin, which is like a miracle because you know, a lot of these mineral sunscreens, it's hard to get it to blend into the skin. But I just felt like, you know, it was more of like a primer and I just kind of feel like I wanted it to do a little bit more, you know? If you're lighter than me, you might get a little bit more of the bronzer action out of it. 
But if you're like my complexion or deeper, it's still not a bad product, but you know, just go in knowing that this is not gonna be like a like a tinted moisturizer or like a replacement product for like foundation because it's, it's, it's not happening. Now let's talk about a few products that you can put on your body that are gonna give you that nice, like kind of like makeup-like look. So first up, I picked up the Copper Tone Glow Hydrogel SPF 50. Um, it's water resistant up to 80 minutes. It says it's shimmery, cool, and hydrating. Now, <laughs> the product looks and feels weird. I'll show you this in B-roll. It looks and feels weird, but when I tell you it feels so good when you put this on, it really is cooling and it feels so hydrating. Like, I can only imagine how amazing this must feel after being in the sun and like you need to reapply and you put this on. Now, I will say that the shimmer is very, very faint, which is great because, you know, I assume most of you guys are like, well, my analytics say like, I guess like the, the youngest of you guys are like 25. Um, but you know, I would assume that most of us are like grown and sexy here and watching this channel. You're not going to want that 1996 Bonnebel, you know, Claire's accessories, um, shimmery glitter <laughs> in your bra. If you do, you know, the more, you know, more power to you. Don't let me let you, don't let me tell you how to live your life. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, I won't want you telling me how to live my life, but <laughs> But the shimmer in this is very subtle, which is real. it's like a really pretty, I don't even know if this will show up on camera when I try to show you, but I thought this was really nice because it, it's like, it's kind of gimmicky, but I, I like it and it's not, and it's not too expensive. Um, I bought this on Amazon, but then I went to like, I forget what store I was in. It was probably like either Walgreens or CVS or something. And they had these out. So, you know, next time you're at the drugstore, you're at Walmart, you're at Target, I'm sure you can pick this up. Um, that was a nice one. All right, next up, the Brazilian Bum Bum Soul Oil SPF 30 sunscreen. It's water resistant for 80 minutes. This is an illuminating sun protection oil for Brazilian babe skin. Now, Yes, I thought something was floating in this, but it, and I was like, oh my God, I need to get my money back. But upon closer inspection, it looks like a surfboard, which I get it, but I don't get it. <laughs> anyway, this is something, now you gotta really love the sense of this. Now the sense in this is not my favorite, but it's also, you know, I don't hate it. You gotta really love the scent. Um, I don't, there was another um, product from this line where I hated the scent. I think it was the oil, like the straight up oil, not the illuminating oil that I hated the scent. This one's not so bad. Um, but you can, you know, put this on and it gives the skin like a really nice, I would spray it in the hand and then, you know, it gives the skin a really nice illuminating glow. And then you also got your sun protection so that's really cool. So like like I said, with these um, body sunscreens that are like makeup-like, sometimes you wanna bring that like glow or whatever you're doing in your face down to your body, or even if you're not wearing any makeup at all. Maybe you, you just want to be like a gilded statue, you know? So, but you gotta really be able to tolerate the scents on this one, because otherwise it's like... So next up, the Super Goop Glow Stick. Now, this is something I mentioned in my summer body skincare essentials video, which, you know, make sure you check that out. But this is something that is going to give you a nice glow. I'm like running out of arm space, but this is going to give you a nice glow. You can also put this on your face if you wanted to. I wouldn't consider this like your primary form of sunscreen just because it glows so much. And, you know, unless that's your look, unless you're looking to glow from head to toe, you know, by all means, because when you put sunscreen on, you wanna make sure that you get it in every little crevice, like even in the, you know, the um, insides of your fingers here, um, in between your toes, behind your ears, behind your neck, you know, your bed. Like you wanna get your sunscreen everywhere. And you may not want to glow everywhere, especially like on the face. Um, so just be mindful of that. This might be like a layering kind of thing. And again, just wanna make sure I'm clear that when I say layer, I'm not saying that you know, you put SPF 50 and then you put a 30 on top that you got 80, nah, I'm not saying that, but you know, the layering can kind of help 
because you know sometimes we miss a spot and you know with reapplication this might be you know a cool a cool item. Supergroup also has a glow oil um, that is pretty similar to the um, boom 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 or boom 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 boom. <laughs> I don't know. They have one that's pretty similar. Um, the super good one from what I remember, because I had I had it last year. I, I don't think it has a scent. I think it's, you know, if it has a scent, it's very slight. It's definitely not the same, you know, anywhere near the type of scent that you get in this. Um, and then I think the super good one is a little bit bigger. They might come in two sizes, but they definitely have a bigger size. But yeah, so if you want to make the body glow, these are a couple of options as well. There are others, they're on my blog, and there are some others that are in the sunscreen playlist here on the channel. So if you're looking for more options, definitely check those out. Okay, now that I have greased up and <laughs> sunscreened up, you know, all extra all over my body, it is now your turn to do the talking here. Let me know below, do you use any of these sunscreens that were mentioned in this video? Do you plan on trying any of them? Do you have any questions about your makeup and your sunscreen? All of that, just get all chitty chatty in the comments, leave it below. You know, we'll have a discussion like a community because you know we are a community. We are a family. But um, yeah, so <laughs> don't forget to also check out the description box because I'll have links to where you can buy each of these products. So if you're looking to shop, go ahead and get in that description box and shop it up. Also in the description box will be links to related blog posts, related videos, links to where you can follow me on social because when I'm not here on YouTube, I'm elsewhere on the internet spreading my chair and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. <laughs>